everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm, I'm doing this a little bit earlier today because uh, my son is supposed to call me for the first time since he's been at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy and um, I can't miss that call. So <laughs> I'm here early and um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about motivation. That seems to be the resounding theme for the week. Um, both in what I've been talking about on, on Facebook and online and also within my own um, life. So I know that my, my daughter and I have woken up in the morning and, and kind of looked at each other and was like, did you get to the gym today? Uh, <laughs> are we going to food prep today? Uh, so, and it's not that uh, we are lacking motivation we're lacking action. We both know we simply just need to do it. So uh, with that being said, um, a lot of people I've, I've been hearing saying, you know, when I find the motivation, I will do this. I will, you know, work on whatever it is that they're trying to work on when they find it. So where, where are you finding the motivation? Where, where do you find this stuff? Like, um, when you clean your house, finally, after getting motivated to do that, do you look under your bed and go, oh, there's the motivation. Um, I wish it was that simple, right? <laughs> but the truth is you don't, you don't find motivation. Um, I think motivation comes from simply starting and, and, and doing the action. But, you know, I, I look, I think about motivation and I, I want to say that there's basically three ways that we, we tend to motivate ourselves to, to get something done. Um, one would be fear-based. So, and I think that's a huge one for most of us. Like we're, we're afraid of something either happening or not happening. So, you know, simple thing, you go to the doctor, your doctor says, hey, your blood pressure is pretty high or your cholesterol is off the charts or um, you need to lose some weight because this is, this is becoming a health, um, health hazard. And so you have the fear of God struck into you. You have to make some changes, um, but, but that's fear-based, right? Or, you know, we, we maintain our vehicles because we are afraid that they're gonna break down if we don't do the proper maintenance and oil changes and all that kind of stuff. It's not that we want to or we're motivated to, you know, I'm gonna go pay some money to have my car worked on. No, we simply don't want the results to happen if we don't take care of that, right? So um, there's a, and you know, even with, with the job, you, you show up at your job because you want money. Um, and if you don't show up, you don't get money and you're afraid of not getting money because you, then you can't pay for the stuff that you want and or mortgage payment or rent or whatever. Um, so those are very much fear-based things that get us motivated. Whether we want to do something or not, um, those certainly prompt us to start making changes. And you know, so, and then there's like an excitement-based um, motivation that comes from doing things that you just cannot wait to do you you, you know you planned a, a beach vacation and you are so excited about it and you haven't had one in a, in a while and you get all your, your packing done early and you are on your way to the beach and you you can't wait or you know you heard that there's a new roller coaster out <laughs> this thing for roller coasters so you're the first in line to ride that roller coaster because you are excited to do it so there's there, there's that and I think that um, there's also the will-based motivation, which I think is the most effective piece. Uh, and that's when, when you, you decide that you want to improve some, some part of your life or, or some area. And um, I think, honestly, that's the most effective. That's the, that, that is heartfelt, soul-felt, and that is entirely your decision. And when you when you look at it like that, that you have full control over that. There's there's nothing there's nothing about it that's that's um, scaring you or you know making you do it for whatever reason. I think that's that's lasting and and, and most um, most likely to stick. So in all of this, when we when we think about motivation, motivation doesn't come from just finding it because we all know we just can't go out and find it. Um, or it can't be given to us. Um, it takes action. So, and that's that's the piece that I wanted to really talk about today is um, getting motivated because you you take steps to do it. So when I when I think about getting things done, for me there's three ways to do it. There's three key components to getting things done and to getting you where you want to be. First, there's the commitment. 
Second, there's the consistency piece, and then there's the compassion piece. So, you know, with, with the commitment, um, let's say you have, you, you want to run a, a marathon, or a, for, I'll, I'll relate myself, because <laughs> I, I signed up for the Army 10 miler. Um, so I want to run the Army 10 miler. I can't just show up and run. So I have to make a commitment to myself to train to run those 10 miles and make it relatively easy um, and, and see it through. So, you know, this could be any, anything that you're wanting to accomplish. I'll just, that I'm using this because I think, um, especially when it's, when it's a physical thing, it's the easiest to really comprehend the, the concept. Um, so I have to make the commitment to myself, for myself. I'm running it for me. I'm my biggest competition. So I am going to show up at that race, be prepared to run and run my best and feel good about it. Um, but with, with that commitment, I need to be consistent. I have to show up every day or whatever my training schedule is. I can't just expect to show up on the starting line and run 10 miles, it's just not gonna happen. So I have to be, I have to have that consistency set up. I have to, ha I have to you know, make sure that I'm showing up for where I've scheduled my, um, my training sessions and, and to, to, to do it to my best ability. Um, and then there's the compassion piece that is so, so critical. And I think a lot of us forget about that when we're trying to achieve our goals. Um, if you, oh, so we're not perfect, <laughs> I'm certainly not perfect, but I have to make sure that when I do fail or slip back or, you know, don't feel a hundred percent because there's none of us that are going to be that way all the time that I talk myself through it. Like I would to someone I really cared about, like my, you know, it, like it's your best friend or your child or your, you know, whoever you really care about, talk to yourself like you would to them to help them get through it. And um, so those are three real critical pieces that, that I think um, um, we all have to really focus on to, to get where we want to be. Um, and then there's also, you know, those days that you're not going to feel like showing up, even though you've been consistent and diligent and trying your hardest and the, you're going to wake up and go, I just don't feel like doing that. And so your motivation gone. You know, all those actions that have kept you going and being like, yes, I, I, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. It's gone because you have none. And what's going to keep you through that, get you through that is going to be the discipline piece. That discipline where you have instilled in yourself when you're reminding yourself of the commitment that you made to, to whatever change that you're, that you're trying to, um, trying to achieve in your life. Um, the, the discipline to continue showing up no matter what. And you can talk yourself, and I, I've done it myself. I, so when you talk yourself out of something, that's a dangerous place to be. But that's when the discipline comes in. That's, that's when you realize that your mind is trying to talk you out of something and say, no, you know what, you, you don't need to get up at five today. You can sleep till six. And you think that that's a good idea at the time, but then you wake up at six and you're like, oh my God, why did I do that? So if you had stayed disciplined and woke, woken up at five where, with, that you committed to, you wouldn't be feeling the pains of regret and disappointment in yourself that are going to last a lot longer. Oh, and I, I guess, you know, I, I should, I should say if, if you had pushed through the pain at five o'clock and woken up, yeah, it's not comfortable, but it's temporary. But that, that pain of regret of having not honored the commitment that you made to yourself, that's a lot more lasting. And you have the, you, then, then that self-talk kicks in, right? Saying, yeah, I told you you couldn't do it. Of course you can't do it. You never show, like, that's when you start hearing yourself, your, your mind telling you all these mean things about, about you and your abilities and how you can't actually do it. So not only have you, um, have you not done what you said you were going to do, but now you have to deal with all that backlash that your mind's thrown at you. And that it's just, you know, weighing painful things, that is to me much more painful than having just shown up like I committed to and staying consistent. So that's where that discipline piece is, is so, so, so important. Um, and again, you know, motivation, when you start, when you start doing action after action, no matter how slow and, you know, um, again, what did I read today? It was something about um, if you can't do something great, make sure that you do little thing, little things that are great. And I thought that was really, really powerful and profound because that that is showing 
one step at a time, make it, make it impactful. You don't have to, you're not, like I said, you're not going to run the 10 miler just showing up at the starting line. You have to put in the work. And, you know, each time you show up, that's one more way that your mind is going to start trusting you to honor your, the commitment that you made to yourself. So all of this ends up building trust in your, you, you start building trust in yourself that you're going to show up. And so, and this is really, really super important when you're, when you're trying to find motivation and can't seem to, this is something that you're going to be able to recall and, and say, Hey, remember that time when I showed up even when I didn't want to, and I just wanted to keep sleeping in and you're going to be like, Oh, your mind's gonna be like, Oh yeah, I do remember that. You, you honored that commitment to yourself, didn't you? And you're like, yep, I sure did. So then it makes it easier to do it again repeated actions and you've just you've confirmed it because fact is you did show up for yourself so that is building trust and it, I think that's so so important um, to be able to do that for yourself to yourself for yourself by yourself with yourself because this is all about you all of all of this motivation all of the self -dif discipline all of the showing up is for you so um, I have a <laughs> I have food prep to do because that that was one of the things that I said I was going to do um, to start my week with my daughter uh, so that we didn't have to worry about you know coming home hungry and, and making something really quickly and so that's gonna help us to stay motivated and um, have a good week so I hope this helps somebody out there who's, who's kind of struggling with finding motivation to, to make a, a change in their life or to um, Anyway, accomplish something and or just deal with your the way they think about themselves and, and approaching approaching life and uh, feel free to reach out if you want and have a fantastic rest of your Sunday take care bye